In last episode, I showed the extruder I designed for the tool changer system. This video will talk about the printhead configuration. Hi, welcome to Sula Engineering. I'm David. Once the extruder is set, the next step is configuring the printhead. The most important aspect of the printhead is its lightweight. However, I also need to consider the parts specifications and space management to ensure a compact printhead configuration. Although the change mechanism and docking mechanism have some parts with the printhead, I have separated them into the next objective to simplify the design. Let's start by examining the first component, which is the harden. The harden is the heating part located below the extruder. There's no need to place it anywhere else. I have designed the mounting holes under the extruder to ensure the harden is fixed in its relative position. However, the orientation of the harden depends on the surrounding parts. The harden has two mounting holes for a 25mm fan, which can improve its performance in an enclosed environment. If I decide to use the harden fan, I also need to consider the flow of this fan. The power cooling system cools down the material after printing, with PLA being the most commonly used material. Cooling is essential for models with overhang features as it helps produce better results. During my experience building the first printhead power cooling system, I realized that the 3010 fans couldn't provide enough airflow. Unfortunately, there wasn't enough space to install bigger 4010 or even 4020 blower fans. In my first attempt, I tried installing 4020 fans on top using universal pipe joints. But I didn't result in airflow. Eventually, I have to stack 3010 fans to achieve sufficient airflow for the printhead. A new printhead needs to be designed with enough space for the power cooling system and proper airflow. There are two options for fans, a 4020 fan or two 4010 fans. A 4020 fan has better static pressure and airflow, even though it's thicker than a 4010 fan. A divided cooling duct with outputs is essential to ensure even cooling. A single side cooling duct option is excluded because it doesn't provide uniform cooling. It's also crucial to have a cooling duct with a similar lens to prevent uneven airflow due to different lens. For these reasons, placing the fan along the center line is suitable. The fan can be placed on either the front or rear side. But placing it lower front can cause interference with the hardened fan. On the other hand, if the fan is placed on top, it must bypass the hardened fan. Additionally, if a long dock is used, it will be challenging for the fan's steady pressure. And to the rear size and you should also avoid putting it on top for the same reason. Placing the fan lower may block the hot and fan flow. These are the positions along the center line to consider. Since I couldn't find a place for a 4020 fan, I attempted to use two 4010 fans in separate positions to cover the nozzle. However, I discovered that only the lower position works effectively with two fans. Placing the fan on top blocks the extruder tension lever. You'll probably ask about the two 4020 setups. Two 4020 fans on two lower side will make the entire print head bulky. Eventually, its size will affect the number of the tool heads. Additionally, the larger outlets will make creating cooling ducts with tight space to the nozzle tip challenging. After reaching some conclusions, I decided on the fan's positions. However, while aligning the fans, I noticed that their size almost took up the space of the lower printhead. This caused a problem as there wasn't enough room to design a proper dock. To overcome this, I raised the fans to create enough space to design the docks without blocking the tension lever too much. Initially, I created a shroud to connect the fans to the extruder and cover the top of the hard end. The front of the shroud is on the same level as the hard end fan, and it has a flat front side that can be used for a more accessible docking mechanism design. Afterward, I designed cooling ducts to point flow toward the nozzle tip. The shroud and fans are both attached to the extruder using two long screws. 
Once I installed the stepper at the back, I noticed that the orientation of the campus board was not appropriately aligned. Initially, I thought of installing the board along with the stepper fixing position, but it would have obstructed the hardened airflow. Therefore, I decided to rotate the board to fit in with the outline of the printhead. Please note that this printhead design is not a final version and may be modified with the changing and docking mechanism. However, the relative positions has been defined. What do you think about the printhead part? Leave a comment down below to share your thoughts. You probably have a better idea than mine. If you are interested in this tool changer project, please like and subscribe to the channel or share with others to gather more good ideas. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next episode.